Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's video is going to be a interesting one because I found this brand on Amazon and it's called Catkin. I haven't heard of it and I haven't seen any reviews on it and it just looks like such a luxurious high-end brand. It kind of reminds me of like Chantecai, Tom Ford, those type of brands and I wanted to try it so I only purchased a blush and a lipstick and see how this perform and they also have multiple other lipsticks and bronzer I believe and all kinds of uh, makeup so I can't wait to show you anyways if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of all my upcoming videos and now let's get right into the video and for my primer I'm gonna use the wet and wild photo focus dewy primer and I'm gonna put this on my face I haven't used this in a while it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer I love dewy primers so I will tell you more about the product as we get closer. So for foundation, I thought I should stay in the same family range. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the dewy version. Actually, let me give it a shake. Let me clip my hairs up. I bought this from the dollar store, this nice clips. They are so cute. I found them to be so cute. And I got two different other kinds, like one that looks like this. So beautiful. And it's just like a clip on the back. And so you can clip your hair in place. And then I got a blue one too, the same as the other one. So I thought that they're really, really cute. They look really cute in the hair. Anyways, let's apply the foundation. I don't like this spatula type of foundations. It's harder to apply. I like a pump foundation. And I'm gonna go into my Co Beauty foundation brush and blend this into the skin. This is a beautiful foundation. It's very, makes me very ghostly right now. But it's okay, we're gonna apply bronzer and all that stuff. Let me prime my eyes. I'm gonna use the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. Okay, eyes are primed. Let's go right into bronzer. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Maybelline City Bronzer. This is in the shade 200. I haven't used this one in a while as well. It has a very nice smell. For that, I'm gonna use a Moda brush, and this is the buffer brush. So pretty, I love that green. Give the face a little bit of color, and I forgot to add a concealer, which we will, just to lighten up the eye area a bit. Like, look how beautiful this bronzer is. See, this bronzer looks very grayish and cool tone in the pan, but when you apply it to the face, it looks really pretty and more of a warm tone. So for now, it's okay. We'll see if we're gonna need more later on. But let's go ahead and apply a concealer, and this is the Flawless Brightening Concealer by e.l.f. And this is the pan version, so it's like has like a clicker here and ooh, there's the product coming out I'm gonna apply a little bit in the outer corner and inner now let's get into this newer products and we're gonna start with this blush uh, actually you know what I forgot a highlighter for highlighter I'm gonna use a the Nude, Nude Sticks Highlighter in the shade 24 Carrot Goddess. And just apply a tiny bit here. This is such a nice golden neutral highlighter. It looks very beautiful on the skin and very natural. And it blends really nicely into the skin. Like I said, let's get into this blush. So this is what the packaging looks like. Like, isn't that gorgeous? It is so, so pretty. This on Amazon.ca, it was $16.84 and that's Canadian. 
Now it says that this blush, let me get my phone here, it's a beautiful mosaic of complementary hues to contour and highlight cheekbones with soft color and discreet shimmer. It's, a, it's the Catkin Rosy Blush. It says it's the perfect combo of colors that blend together to naturally enhance your cheekbones and create a 3D makeup look. The blush and highlighter two in one, so this is like a two in one product. Simplify the makeup process, easy to create a perfect blush makeup for everyone. It is just, uh, the packaging really got me. It's just so beautiful. So very high end looking, look at that. Doesn't that remind you of those high end brands? I think it's just so, so pretty. And it's gold on the other side. It says Catkin C04. And let's open it up and show you inside. So it comes with a mirror and there's the product. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful peachy shade. And I love that combo. It looks like a latte inside. It's just so pretty. Now let me see when I touch it, it's very soft. There is the product on the hand and like on the finger and here it is on the hand. So you can use it easily, easily as a highlighter, you can, or as a peachy blush. So I'm gonna use it kind of as both two in one. So let's dip into the product and see. Ooh, it is very light, natural, yet it provides a lot of pigment. And once you dip into the pan, it does not wreck the consistency of that latte type of design. So this is, keep in mind that if you like to use this blush, you don't want to use a very strong highlighter. And you can also use this to kind of tie in everything together with the bronzer you've used looks very beautiful do you guys see look at that nice shade and glow you get very natural looking oh this is such a pretty blush packaging is just stunning and the blush is just very beautiful on the cheeks now for the eye look i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go into this huda beauty smoky obsession palette and dip into this shade right here for now. So I'm gonna put this into the crease and above, kind of a transition shade. Maybe I'm gonna make a really smoky eye. I was gonna use a purple eyeshadow, but I think with the blush and this type of um, shades, I think a smoky eye will look really, really nice. Now I'm gonna go into this darker shade. Have to be careful because the black one kind of broke. I'm gonna go into this darker shade and put it into the crease. Stay tuned because I cannot wait to show you the lipstick. I'm just so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. Okay, and now in the outer corner, I'm gonna go with this darker brown right here. I'm gonna use this brush. It has more of a flat top and just intensify this outer corner. I might, yeah, let's just do this in the outer corner for now. Do the same on this eye and then we're gonna blend it. So I'm gonna go back into my first brush and diffuse all the harshness we see here. And now for the inner corner, I'm gonna go into this middle shade, which is more of a shimmery dark brown. I'm gonna use this in the inner corner here. It's gonna be like an all dark, smoky look. I don't wanna use any light shimmers today. That's so pretty. I love this Huda Beauty palettes, this mini palettes. They have all of the colors you ever need. Okay, so now for the bottom part, I'm going to use a um, pointy brush and I'm gonna go into this darker color right here and bring it all the way down on the lower lash line maybe I'm gonna use a different brush it's not good enough I'm gonna use more of a smaller fluffy brush like this not too too pointy see because we want to smoke this 
So I'm going to go now into this darker brown and add it on top here. And now with a different brush, this is like a Moda flathead brush. I'm going to go into this lighter shade and add it here to kind of diffuse this sharp dark edges so that we can tie all these colors together. That's very pretty. So now I'm going to go back into this light brown here and add it at the top here so we bring it back because it looks like we lost it into that darker shade and let's blend it. Now I'm going to blend it with a new clean brush. Now I'm going to go back into this catkin blush slash highlighter and I'm going to use a smaller brush and fit it in the inner corner and use this as my inner corner highlighter and see how this looks. Oh, look how beautiful it transfer as like an inner corner highlighter. This is so versatile, this product. So you can use it obviously as a blush, as a highlighter and as an inner corner highlighter as well. I'm going to do the same thing for the brow bone. I'm loving it. I really, really am loving this product. Now I'm going to go ahead off camera, apply mascara. There is nothing new with mascara. I'm going to use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara and enjoy this intermission. And I will be right back with the lipstick. So stay tuned. Okay, so it's time to apply lipstick now. And here is the lipstick. I took it out of the box. It is just so beautiful. It has some cranes flying on it. It's nice red and gold. It says catkin on it. And check this out. This is magnetic. Listen to this. It is just beautiful. And this lipstick, let me tell you about this lipstick. This lipstick was $19.99 Canadian. And this is in the shade CR129, in case you guys want to get it. And it says, it's a highly pigmented lip gloss that comes in both vibrant and soft shades with easy to apply matte finishes for beautiful lips. It's a perfect lipstick with no stickiness, no smudging, no leftover stain marks. And the lipstick makes your lips like a shining star. It is a perfect gift for your friends. It's waterproof, it's long lasting, a warm and soft matte texture that provides elegant all day effect. This claims to be a perfect lipstick. So let's go ahead and apply it first. I'm gonna go in with the gel lip liner by Wet n Wild and it's this one right here. This is in the shade. 661D lay down the mauves. So I'm not gonna fill in the lips obviously with the lip liner because we wanna see the lipstick. Let's go into this lipstick. Isn't this gorgeous guys? It says catkin on the lipstick as well. Beautiful. Now let's apply it. Ooh, this is a different shade than the lip liner. So now I'm going to go into a brush to kind of clean the edges here. Hey guys, so I came outside to show you how the lipstick looks. It's beautiful. So you guys can see it in natural light as well, not just under those lights. So it has been almost like probably 45 minutes since I put it on. I did not touch it up and you can see that it is still on and it's such a beautiful shade. You can see it. Just love it. Love, love, love it. And obviously the eye look in natural light and the blush with the highlighter is just so, so beautiful. So yeah, I wanted to give you kind of an update on how it looks on my face in natural light as well. Bye. Now, my final thoughts on this is I'm just loving it. I'm loving the shade. The way that it applied, it was actually very smooth. 
It's not sticky. It doesn't feel heavy on your lips. It has not transferred to my teeth at all. I go like this. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my lips. It doesn't feel like a lip balm, like a lip gloss, like a lipstick. It actually feels like my own skin. So this lipstick, I'm 110% recommending it. This shade is just so beautiful with the smoky eye look, with a very simple just eye look with mascara, it goes as well. They have so many other shades there and I'm gonna go purchase more because I'm just loving this lipstick and it's waterproof. Let me see if I kiss it. Nope, it's not transfer proof. So it does come on your hand, but look at the color. It is just so beautiful and it doesn't feel, it feels very hydrating on the lips because of the jojoba oil and it feels just like your lips but better basically. So final thoughts on this product. Obviously all the other products I've used today, I'm gonna link everything down below including these two new products by Catkin. It is just an amazing brand. I love this blush slash highlighter. It is so versatile. You can use it for a blush like what I did. You can also use it as just a highlighter. And what I did is I used it as my inner corner highlighter, as you can see, and my brow bone highlighter. So it is just one product, so versatile. You can use it in so many ways. And of course the lipstick, what can I say? You guys can see for yourself. It's just a beautiful shade and it's just so elegant and it glided so easily on the lips. It did not transfer to the teeth. It is not kiss resistant. However, what can you ask for more than what it has already performed? I'm just loving it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this get ready with me and review on this Catkin products, the blush slash highlighter and the lipstick. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'm gonna link everything down below. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my upcoming videos. I wish you all a wonderful day and I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.